Right, I said I wasn't going to stream again, but I lied. I don't want to get this uh, mini game done. Or at least more of it, anyway. <clears throat> so, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Canvas screens. Be right back. Mini game. Maze game. Okay, so what I was going to do, and what I was trying to do, Right, I was trying now to make it so that these bulls will move the character. Mainly this is just so that I can test it, essentially. Make sure it's working. But it's not, it's to be fair, it's not a bad way to, to have it work anywhere. I could just have a separate chat script or, script or whatever that sends those bulls across per chat command. Um, but yeah, first we need to get it working, right? I'm ready meow. Captain Copium has to deal with something and we'll be right back shortly. Okay, we don't get any errors <clears throat> until we do. I'm looking for grid forward slash A1. What is this madness? Oh. Time for a fun fact. Arizona was the last of the 48 adjoining continental states to enter the Union. Was it? Oh, that's so interesting. Wait, string get player position equals grid. Yeah, no, that should work, right? Because grid. Okay, so basically it's like um, it's like your folder structure in the hard drive, right? This is grid, and from here we got a grid, and then we got a A01. But it's saying null reference exception. Share this fun fact with you. Weird! Okay, well then, what Until we could do... Okay, well what we could do then, is we could put a... Let's link it to the grid then, right? So we make a public game object grid. And in that case, instead of saying... transform from here dot find um, I can say grid dot transform dot find and then just forget about these grid bits right so take that out take that out put just put the grid in grid dot take that out Put the grid in. Take that out. It should, to be fair, that should work. What I did should have worked, um, but I can't be bothered wrestling with it, so I'm just gonna no, let's do it this way. To be fair, I'd prefer it work this way, to be honest. <clears throat> okay, now does that work? Also, I never actually um, updated the player right. Wait, mm, I did on update maze, but the problem is in start, I never did an update maze. So if I got to update maze in start, that should fix that. There we go. All right, that should do it. I say with complete confidence. Meow. I'm ready, meow. Captain Copium has to deal with Oh, I forgot to link right it. Back. What is wrong with me? Why do I always forget that? Why? Why? Okay, there we go. I don't know why. I really don't. I should know by now. There's no excuse. Meow. I'm ready, meow. Oh my you god, what is your problem? We'll be right back shortly. Okay, that's why. 
Okay, that's why. I know why. You think I don't know why? You really, you really think I, you really think I didn't know that? Of course I knew that. I was just making sure that you. I was testing to see if you knew it. I was making sure you were paying attention. All right. I knew that. I'm ready, meow. Okay, Captain so if we go, has if we go right, something and we'll be right back shortly. <laughs> Where'd my kitty go? <clears throat> So Wright shouldn't have gone there. Uh, uh, Wright shouldn't have gone from A1 to B1. Good lord, why am I so bad at this? Get player position. Isn't isn't get player position? Get player position is get tile name. And then get tile name. I am looking for tile. Get tile. And it said I'm looking for A1, right? String get tile equals get tile name. Yeah. I don't get it because it's the same thing here, right? If I moved right and it said I am looking for tile A1 and the null reference occurred on line 77, then why did it work here but it didn't work here? It's the same thing though, right? I am so confused. I am so confused. So it says I'm looking for tile A1, which is correct. It gets the tile. I don't know why, because we never did anything with it after that. Oh, we query it. We say if get cell can write, then go ahead and increase the current column by plus plus, right? So current column should go from column one get tile name but column okay I know why it's not working so I say current column that's not correct right well wait moving right is moving the columns but columns isn't ABC right ABC is rows so that needs to say current row equals one current row current raw and this should be yeah why is it column name then I did this the wrong way around string raw name right although really we only use that here but then again we do say return raw name plus current raw which that should actually be current column. Right, there we go. I had it backwards basically to string D2. Okay, that's why it wasn't working. I had my rows and columns backwards. I'm mixed up. I think the reason why, right, is I'm thinking Excel, right? So in Excel, this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, blah, blah right? Row one, two, three. But that's because Excel has like a billion like a ne in it, you know essentially at infinite rows right but not infinite columns so typically a, a sheet will be longer than wider typically 
Whereas because our maze is the other way around, there we go, our kitty's there now. So it started in the top left, so that's good. It started in the top left, we should be able to move it right. There we go, right, right. If we move up it should ignore us. It did, move down, we get an error. Okay, let's see what went wrong. Everything was going great until we went down. So we go down, current row, plus plus. If can down, that's correct. Update mess. I have a fun fact for you. Around 15% of active Twitter accounts are social bots. This means there are nearly 48 million accounts that are not controlled by humans. So when A1, A2, A3, when we went down, we got a null reference. But it should have said looking for B3, right? And it never did. So that's that's what's kind of strange about that. Current roll plus plus. I have a joke for you. If can down. What did one elevator say to the other elevator? I think I'm coming down with something. Column. L O L. Column minus minus if can left. Column plus plus if can right. I don't see a problem with that. Let me just run that again. I don't really know why that didn't work, if I'm being honest. Strange. Why didn't that work? I'm ready, meow. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. Straight away we got a null reference. Pick start random I have a joke for you. Random number between one, one and three. Current column I'm equals one. L -O -L. And the start should be between one and three. And then we update the maze. struggling so much with this we haven't even got to the walls yet the walls shouldn't be that bad actually meow. I'm ready meow okay Copium has to deal this with time it worked right this time it worked, but we started in the top left, so it might be that it's picking like too high of a number or something. But in my test, it never went that high, so we'll have to check that. So we can go rise. I have a joke for you. A two. I wish I could clean mirrors for a living. It's just something I can see myself doing. L O L. It queries A two. Player position is now A3, correct. It queries B3, and then we get a null reference. I feel the need to share a fun fact. No, it doesn't. It's... Daniel Radcliffe okay. wrote over 80 it works out. The Harry Potter movies because he used... Oh my god, shut the fuck up, cat. This is so hard to do. Let me just mute the whole fucking thing because this is going to drive me insane. It's really hard to concentrate when she's rabbiting on. She's supposed to rabbit on because this is a bit. This is the be right back screen, but it's also gonna like really fucking distract me. So she's correctly identifying that she should be in B three. Oh, you, there it is. That's why. Okay, so the reason why it's not working now is because I forgot to put the leading zeros on the B's and the C's, basically. That's why. 
Okay, that's fine. We can fix that. It's easy. Make sure we do the same for the C's. Yeah, I should have put that in my syntax when I had it name them dynamically, but it's going to be quicker just to do this now, I think. Honestly. Okay. Okay, so let's test it again. Captain okay, there's Premium our little cat. Deal with little something. We'll be right back shortly. So we can go right, up, but no more up, down, but no more down. Left, I don't know why you would ever go backwards in here, you probably wouldn't, but we can do it. Okay, so we should be able to go all the way to the end, but no further, and then all the way up, just test all the corners, and then all the way left. Okay, so we finally have I'd like to tell you a, fun fact. a fully working navigation, the the size like navigation of a system, ball, movement system, I guess. The size of a ball ball, okay, the and yeah, no errors at all, that's perfect. So all these debug logs, I can get rid of these now. I don't really need these. Right. I don't really need these. They're just flooding my console unnecessarily, but I did, I'll leave them in there in case I need them again. Because, where was, where was, my, where was my other one? Player position. I am looking for, there it is. Yeah, that was only on the move right one anyway, to be honest. So I'll, I'll just take that out completely, I think. Yeah, okay, that seems to be working fine. So now we can move within our our grid, basically. Up, down, left, and right. We can't go any further than the bounds of the map. So the next job is, this is fun. This is the fun part. The next, the next job is to generate the maze now for this particular maze of this particular shape it's actually not too bad because okay for in order for this to work really well we can have there are okay we should look at it by column right for each each column there are one two three, four. There are four different column types we can have, right? There are four different maze column types that we can have. So we can have completely empty. We could have, actually, no, there's more than that, isn't there? No, there isn't. Okay. Wait, let me just figure this out. Oh my God. Hang on a minute. Column types, column types, column types, column types. Okay, so let's actually go through each version that we can have, right? So this is our column. So there's like, there's one type that we can have, right? Which is just completely empty. Fuck off. Grab it, grab it. Good, okay. Let me just put, I'm probably gonna, I should have left this wide actually. Okay, we're gonna need to put map every single column type that we can have. And we'll probably, we'll probably make a state machine out of this. Okay. I don't know how many combinations there are, but we're about to find out. Okay, and we'll do like yellow as a wall, right? So basically we can have completely empty we could have just one here. We could have two there. We could have just one here. And we can have just two there. We can also have one here and one there. We can't really have a fully blocked off section. 
and you can see some problems here is we can't just shuffle randomly because we need to be able to get from one side to the other. So there are going to be some rules associated with each column type. But yeah, that there should be all possibilities, I believe. All possible column types. Yeah. That's definitely all, all possible column types. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block it off here because those don't exist. And we'll just give these a quick a quick name right so let's just get our text out we'll give these a state number each right so this is perfect actually so let's just get our text out how do we make this bigger this is not good practice by the way the way I'm doing this I'm just cheating because really you're supposed to use something called pathfinding right and nearest neighbor and all this stuff but I genuinely can't be asked and for this little maze here, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hard code every possibility in there, which is again not good practice because it means that we're limited to this size size of maze. But to be fair, for what I want, I don't care because I, I'm never gonna want a taller maze than this anywhere. But this system lets me go as wide as I want, to be honest. And you're gonna see that because we're gonna actually make this an endless runner as well, right? So you'll see. I might even put a different state. I might even start putting like, I might put like gems or something you can collect in. If you go a certain way, you get like extra points. I don't know yet, I haven't figured that out yet. But okay, so if we if we call this state zero, okay, this means there's obviously no wall. State one, one wall at the top. State two, two walls from the top. Three, one wall from the bottom. Four, two walls from the bottom. And five is a wall at the top and a wall at the bottom. So there are only six possible combinations of wall types of columns that we can possibly have right so that means probably the best solution for this would be to make a a wall state or something like a cell state we'll call it or cell type uh, we've already got cell type which is path wall or player but this is per cell yeah this isn't for per column to be honest so we can't put it on the cells per column okay so what we'll do what we'll do is we'll make a private list let's make it public for now so we can keep an eye on it right so for lists we need something called using system collections generic is the namespace that we need and in here if we just put on a list of integers Okay, and we're gonna call these column, well, let's just call them columns actually. Okay, so we're gonna make a new list of columns. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna store a bunch of numbers. So at the moment our maze is 30 rows long, right? So we're gonna store 30 column state numbers in a list and those columns are going to represent these different types of columns that we can have right with those numbers there so just to make it try and make it a little bit easier i'm just going to try and describe these right so basically zero is empty one is one top two is two top, three is one bottom, and four is two bottom, and five is one top, one bottom. Right? That describes those perfectly. I could have I could also kind of do it with representation by having like, you know, drawing it out is as but yeah, that's fine. Alright. And then what we need to do when we generate our maze, we need to randomly pick between these, right? So we can randomly decide which column each column is going to be. Except there are some rules, right? Rule zero has some special rules. Well, there's only one special rule for, for, for zero. So what we'll do is we'll update maze. We don't have a generate maze yet, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Well, what I'll actually do is I'll make a generate maze 
and from generate maze we'll call update maze. So we need a new void. Of oh, you fucking twat first. Why do you do this? Why do you do this, Visual Studio? I don't know. You never used to do this. Uh, all, all we know is we want to update it when we're, when we're done to visually represent it. So for column zero, column zero has a very special um, rule, which is now when we update the maze, where, where do we pick? There you go, into pick start. Really, this wants to be a part of the generate maze function, right? So we're going to put this at the top of generate maze. And the current row is whatever pick start is. That's fine. We also need to say current column because we've got to imagine that this is when we load into a new level as well, right? So current column is always going to equal one because we start counting from one in this particular thing. And we also want to say that our columns, we're going to clear them. So we're going to delete any data that's in there. Now, we already know what column we're starting at. So basically, because the player's always going to start in the first row, then one of these tiles is impossible to fill, right? And that's obviously the tile that the player's in. So if the player starts in the middle, we're limited, right? If the player starts in the middle, then we can't have this one and we can't have this one, but we can have this one, this one, this one, or this one. So column, so the very first column is very special in that sense. So there's a special rule. So what we need to do is just put in some logic here. So we'll say, let me see, how many possibilities is that? So that's picking a number between State zero, one, two, or three. So zero, three. So we're going to generate a random number between zero and three. Just want to make sure that does what I think it's going to do. I just get mixed between this exclusive thing and then just debug.log. Just make sure that definitely is going to do what I think it's going to do. There's four possibilities, so that might that might want to say zero and four. Yeah, that does want to say zero and four because it never picked three. Okay, so that that needs to say zero to four. So if we start at zero, it wants to be one higher than what we actually want. Okay, okay, I see. So that wants to say zero or four, and that will pick a number between zero and three. So basically, if pick first number is zero, then actually, yeah, no, we do we do want to manually override the state numbers. And the reason why, normally what we can do, and with the other columns, what we can do is we can just generate a state number and then add the state number into the columns because it can be any one of these. But because raw, because the first column is special, because the player is going to be in one of these squares, we just have to basically do this one separately. So what we want to say is if pick first is zero, then columns add state zero. We want to state zero column. And where it gets a bit weird with this one is we can go one, two, three, which are our other possibilities. 
but it's not state one, two, three, because state two is illegal and state four is illegal. So what we actually want to do is we want to say one is one, uh, two is three, and four is three is five. Okay, so there are our possible column one combinations, right? So we go ahead and we add the state for column one into the list. Then for the rest of the states, it's fine, right? So we can say int index equals, and we're starting at column It doesn't really matter actually. Yeah, I think it does because we, okay. Well, index is less than. We know we have 30 rows, right? I'm pretty sure it's 30. So I think it's while it's less than 31 because we want it to do from one. No, we want it to do one from 30. We've already got one. So we want it to do one to 29. So basically for this one, we're just going to say int pick state is a random integer of range between zero with an inclusive count of six because we want it to pick a number between zero and five. I know that's confusing, but that's how it works. So the reason why is because we're saying we want six random numbers starting from zero. So number five becomes the sixth number. That's where I, that always used, that's always still confuses me now, but that's basically what it means. It's kind of weird. Okay. So we want a number between zero and five essentially. And then for each one, we can just say columns add um, pick state. Now the problem with this, the problem with this, right, is apart from the fact that it will infinitely loop until we do that. The problem is this is is we're gonna get we're gonna get combinations like this, right? And the player cannot get past this bit, right? Even though this one and this one are completely different, the path is blocked because the player can only move up, down, left, and right, right? So basically, every time we pick a state. that has a special rule, we have to make sure that special rule is adhered to, right? So what we also need to do is we need to know what the previous state was in order to do this dynamically. So the way we do that, Okay, we can set previous state to the state that was picked right after it was picked and we've added the column. Then when we're going through our logic, we can say pick a state between zero and six and then add the pick state. What would be better, actually, is if we don't do that and we say columns.count is less than 31. Because we don't know how many iterations it's going to take to do this. Because this is where we basically say, 
we're going to be skipping some depending on if the rules aren't correct. So here we want like all of our logic that says, oh, if this was a certain thing, then go ahead and add the state. Otherwise, you know, go ahead and don't add the state. Right, so what are, basically what are the conditions for not placing a wall, for not allowing a tile to be, for a, a state to be used, right? Well, the conditions are, if we look at our thing, our conditions are that basically, if the previous tile, like the reason we can't put this one here is because the previous tile requires us to move right to become free of a wall, right? And because this is blocking that very place that we need to be clear, it it is one that we can't have, right? So basically, it's never gonna to apply to the ones that are only one. It's only gonna to apply to state two and state four. else it must be pick state four, right? So I'm gonna nest it like this. So basically the reason I'm nesting it like that is I can put an else here and then I can say just add it. Cause if it's not a two or a four, then we don't care. If it is a two or a four, there are conditions that need to be met. And the condition is if it's pick state two, the previous tile, the previous state that was picked must not be anything that blocks this bottom square. So three is bad, four is bad, and five is bad. So three, four, and five. So basically we can say here, if previous state is not three, and previous state is not four, and previous state is not five, then go ahead and add this state to the map. Similarly, we have a similar thing here. If we drop into this else here, we know that it's state four, right? Because we only entered this if it was state two or state four. If it's state four, we need to make sure it's the opposite basically, right? We need to make sure that this top square wasn't previously blocked off. So it needs to not be a one, not be a two and not be a five. So not one, not two, where? Oh yeah, that's five. I was gonna say, why is five there again? But yeah, that makes sense because five blocks the top and the bottom, right? So there we go. That's basically the only rules we need to um, follow. And then what we can do is when we get, when we come out of this, let's test that actually. We wanna make sure that each time we generate a maze, uh, we have a total count of 30 randomized number states, right? And zero can be anything as long as the player isn't like obstructed basically. So let's just run that first. Just make sure that we're getting the right number of columns and stuff. We should be fine. I'm ready now. Okay, we have 31 columns, so we have one too many. We only have 30. We only actually have 30 columns. 
so that's fine. I kind of messed my thing up there. So it does want to be well less than 30. Huh. That's weird though. Weird. Okay, well, that should give us 30. I don't know why though. It's kind of weird. Less than 30. We do it. We should do it until we hit 30, surely? Isn't that what less than 30 means? I don't know. For whatever reason, that's not how it works. Right, there we go. So we've, now we've got randomized columns. Now. And hopefully... Captain Copium has to deal with something. we got some right fives in a row thing. there. Until we see it, we won't know, right? we got some fives in a row. we got some threes in a row. But we should hopefully be avoiding the thing that I said we should be avoiding, right? And we can test this because we can do, like... Can we generate new mares? So... Now we need to draw the mares. So... The problem with this function here is the problem with this function here is it only returns the tile name of the current tile the player is on. So I'm going to change this, right? Instead we're going to, we're going to take a column number and we're going to take a raw number and instead we're going to refer to these done it again Okay, the reason I want to do that, and then every time we call it here, because this is for moving the player, right? We can say current, we can say current column, current raw. And we just do that for each of these. The reason I want to do that is now we can use this function while we're drawing the, the maze. So while we're drawing the maze now, we can say, While index is less than columns count, in other words, iterate through all of the columns, we can say All right, okay, we want an inner loop and an outer loop, right? So this this one's going to iterate through every single column. Right, well, let's let's do this properly then, right? This wants to be columns, column states index, right? This is a column state index, so we don't get confused. So we're iterating through, we're iterating through the column state indexes, and we want to do that for every single column state, right? Which is basically go through all the columns, right? But there are also some rules within here where we want to generate an integer which is raw number, which starts at one. And we want to create an integer of, of column number, which also starts at one. And then as we're cycling through these, okay, we want to increment raw, raw number, increment column number. And for column numbers, we will also want to say, Oh, there is a way to wrap this. It's fine, I'll just do it here. If column number ever becomes greater than 30, then that doesn't exist. We basically reset column number, and at the same time, we increment row number. 
right so we go upper row uh no 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 that's not what we do at all column number goes back to one and we increment row number all right so we basically go and wrap round like that what doesn't it like what doesn't it like oh right 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 yeah okay current column but like current raw that's left over from there okay that's fine right so we increment row number we increment column number when we get to the end of a column we want to go down a row and we reset column back to one so now we have a row and a column number so we can say string get cell well get cell name okay get cell name equals get tile name wasn't it i think yeah get tile name and this one's a column number and a row number so you guessed it column number comma row number and all that will do is basically just iterate through a one two three four five etc etc with the correct formatting with the leading zero so now we have the name we can declare a cell a mere cell actually yeah we want to do something so that's the thing we want to do something for each um we should draw actually yeah what we're really doing i just realized something because we're iterating through all the column states really we're drawing we're drawing each type of column out now right so we we actually need to iterate we don't need to iterate through the rows we should just iterate through the columns so essentially we only need to do this 30 times i don't know this is this is where things uh, yeah that's yeah because our, our outer loop was doing that anyway right yeah we only have 30 column states but we have 90 grid tiles right so we have 90 grid tiles but we have 30 column states so we don't really need to iterate through the raw numbers we just need to iterate through the column numbers so this is redundant And we could just use state index plus one to know what column number we're working with. Let me think about this. But we do need to do it. Oh my God, let me think about this. Well, it's just gonna be A. Yeah, we, we are just going through columns. The only, the only thing we really need, okay, this is what we really need. We don't need any of this because we're we're going to draw out each column state depending on what column state it lands on right we do need to get cell names so what we should probably do is call this we want cell a cell b and cell c right so we want cell a and for that the column number is always going to be one and that's the row number the row number is always going to be one so column number would actually be column state index plus one and row number for the first one is going to be one then we need to do the same thing for two and three for b and c this might sound confusing but it's because we're drawing every column state you see okay so that one wants to be two and that one wants to be three so now we can take care of the A and the B and C for each, each and every column state type, right? We don't need to increment row number. We don't need to increment column number. We don't even have those as variables anymore. So now we can simply say if columns at column state index equals equals zero, then we basically don't do anything so we'll just skip it actually because all of the all of the columns well no we will do this because otherwise when we redraw levels we won't put them back so we do need to do this for all of them right so basically this is column state zero which is this one 
So then we just need to say get cell A and we have states for these, don't forget. So cell cell A where was it? Oh we did these as strings, didn't we? Okay, let's not do that. Let's get a cell. Let's get a maze cell type. And let's just say grid dot transform dot find get name dot get component maze cell. And let's just get let's just get that component directly B and C that would be easier actually and it's always going to be row one that's always going to be row two that's always going to be row three so get cell A now we can address the state directly because that should be a maze cell type uh, let me just load that script up because I can't remember what I called it Mm -mm -mm. I called it cell type. Okay, so cell type for all of these is z type zero, right? Which is if we check our syntax, zero is a path, one is a wall, and two is a player. Now we will update the player, but we do that after the movement style anyway. So now we just want to consider basically what is a wall and what is a path, right? So we want B and C in here. Okay, so that is a state zero. Then we have, if we look at our thing, we have a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. So, one, two, three, four, five. Put those digits in. Okay, so a one is obviously A is a state one. So one is a wall, right? So it's one, zero, zero. Two is one, one, zero. Three is zero, zero, one. Four is zero, one, one. And five should be one, zero, one, right? one zero one okay and these cells are programmed so that when they have their state changed on them they will automatically update their visual appearance based on that state change okay let's test it and make sure it's working I'm ready meow. Captain Copian mm. has to deal with That's something. That's unfortunate. We'll be right back shortly. I did call generate mares. Yes, I did. So let's have a look. We generated our column states. And we have 30 of them. Time okay. for a joke. So why the fuck don't How we many bones anything? are in the human hand? That's strange. Let me just check these. L -O -L. Did they receive their state changes? Cell type zero, 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 zero. None of them got any updates. Why is that? Hmm. It's 
joke time. If at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. LOL. Mmm. I don't freaking know. Well, columns to index is less than columns dot count. I'll do my best to keep things lively whilst Captain Copium is away. Go and grab the A, B, and C cell for each column, and then depending on what Have state is in joke? columns at dot, column dot, state dot. index, what do you call a tower on a trampoline? Change the state of the a cell based on the wall type, the cell type. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I do not see an issue with that. I do not see an issue with that. Apart from really, that should be an on and able, if I'm being honest. I have a joke for you. Uh, Don't what am I missing? Into monastery. Because only you can prevent florist friars. LOL. What am I missing? Generate the numbers. Previous state is pick state. That's used to de determine which wall should remain free based on the previous wall. That seems to be working. Well, it's hard to tell until I see it visually right. Column state index is zero. We use column state index as the the driver for the loop. Have you heard this fun fact? If dot, columns dot, dot. that comes the index is zero, Disney World is the second state is zero, then we set the cell type on get cell A, B, B and C, S, respectively, Department of depending on whatever state map it is. Yeah, that should be fine. I don't see... <laughs> I genuinely do not see an issue with that. Grid dot transform dot Looks find. Like I'm the only one streaming today. Com state index. I feel the need to share a fun fact. Get tile Buckingham name Palace at column England state index plus rooms. one, which is basically I'm doing it again, aren't I? It should be column and row. Yeah, no, that should be right. Yeah, columns do range from 1 to, like, 30 or whatever. So, yeah, that should be right. And it's always going to be row 1, 2, and 3. And we didn't get a no reference or anything. Uh, I don't know why this isn't doing anything. That's kind of weird. Why is it not doing it? What am I missing? I'm missing something. What am I missing? Run it again? I'm ready now. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be we right draw, back shortly. We pick our random columns. <laughs> what is happening? I genuinely don't know what's happening. We can't be stuck in an infinite loop, that's for sure. Because Unity is responsive and everything. So we're definitely not stuck in an infinite loop. It's like we're not entering that at all. Int col column state index equals zero. We drop out of this loop here. We declare a new integer of column state index. While column state index is less than the columns dot count, which we start at zero. I have we a grab a maze cell class of maze cell get long. cell A B and C. Then it would be a foot. Add column state index L -L -L. plus one. So we iterate from one to thirty with this control loop as the driver. 
and we get the Maze Salcom Pond on those. We don't get any null reference exceptions, so there's nothing wrong with this. Let me just see if we're even entering this. This is so strange. What am I missing? Wasn't that a game or something? Enter the Gungeon. I feel like it was. I don't know why I said that. I just felt like being silly. How bizarre! Meow. I'm ready, Meow. Captain Copia. We entered the Gungeon. And we'll be right back shortly. Oh! <laughs> what am I missing? The states aren't changing, right? What are the states on these? Cell type is zero on all of these. Cell type is zero on every single one of these. What the fuck? I have a joke for you. What's brown and sticky? A stick. LOL. What? And what is what is our what is our state say? Zero. We start at five. Five zero one one zero three. So it should be five zero one one zero three. What is even Time happening? For a joke. I am so As I suspected, right someone has been adding soil to my garden. Five. We're the not getting a null thickens. reference, so it's finding the cells. But it's not update unless something or maybe something else is overriding is okay let me find out if something else is overriding the cell type no and these seem to be updating correctly is taking longer than expected. Yeah, and as they did it, it draws the thing on it like it's supposed to, right? I'm so confused what is happening. This is really bothering me. <laughs> what is happening? It's time for a joke. I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. LOL. You know, I never even use these, these cell lefts and cell rights. I never I never actually use these. I was gonna get each I was gonna get each cell to query whether it could be like Okay, yeah, I, I do still kinda need to do it. Yeah, to be fair, I do still need I to do that actually. For you. But like first How of all, I just wanna draw the walls starts. and make sure they're actually getting drawn Put properly. A in it. LOL. Um but yeah, also I probably I probably won't use these actually because I'll probably just can left can write them from the maze generator because that makes more sense actually. So I won't do a I don't think I'll do a reference to this, a reference to this, a reference to this, or a reference to this. And instead I'll just update the bills from the maze generator because that makes much more sense. Actually. Still doesn't explain why it's not drawing the walls though. What is happening? Let me just delete that fixed children script as well because that that's a bit of a dangerous script if we accidentally run it on something we don't want to run it on i would just feel safer deleting that okay good good <laughs> 
I don't know what's happening. What? Oh my god, this is actually baffling my brain. This is baffling my brainium. This makes absolutely no sense. Why is it not doing it? Like the the obvious, there were two, there were two ways, there are two, it's, I'm so confused by this, because yeah, we iterate now. through 30 Captain times as well. Has to deal with something and we'll be right back so the most shortly. obvious reasons is like, seems to be like okay something must be overriding these cell values right but they're not i checked them and we're iterating we're iterating little <laughs> we're iterating through the loop the correct number of times I am so fucking confused. We're not getting a null reference exception, so it's not failing to find the cells. It's so bizarre. What is happening? Time for a fun fact. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, hang on. No, actually, yeah, okay, I remember. Yeah, something is overriding. I just remembered something. Mm-hmm. We did something in our update maze. I went and set all the states to zero. There we go. <laughs> I reset. I reset all the states to zero on update maze. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Okay. That's that is that is why that's why it's not working. Okay. Now I see. Now it should work. Now it should work. In fact, I don't even need that debug anymore. Captain Copium has to deal with something. Oh we'll no. Right back, you know what this reminds me of? This is we're right back to where we were with cat with ChatGPT. Right, okay. Something went wrong, as you can clearly see. This part's actually okay. But this okay, so let's get to the first problem then, right? So the first problem. Also, when we move the player, yeah, now when we move the player, the previous cat isn't being drawn out because we have no way of knowing. Okay, there's a few ways we can handle that. Don't worry about it for now. We'll, we'll deal with that later. There's a few I ways a I can you. fix that. The I biggest concern hair, right now is that our cat to goes to here L and now we're stuck. We can't get past. This should this should have never been allowed to happen, right? So when th this state here is state five, right? So let's make sure that it's correct, right? So on on entry number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. On eight entry number six it should say five. Yes, it does. However, okay, I know why. Because we also need to include pick state five in this check condition. 
And then we need to say if pick state is four. Here's a fun fact. An ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. It looks like I'm the only one streaming today. And then on here we need if pick state is five. Okay. And then in here it wants to be. To share a fun fact. So let's see what the logic is for this. Six, six, so if pick state is five, we're not allowed to place a five. To be fair, five is quite unique. Five, the only con the only condition is if pick state five. Okay, it must be either a, th a zero, a one, or a three. I suppose it's just as easy to say not a four. Yeah, it's only not a four or not a two. So basically the middle needs to be free in the leftmost place, right? Because we can't get into it diagonally. So this, this one here has to be free. So not a four and not a two, basically. So not four and not two. Couldn't possibly be a five. But if it was a five, it would be fine. Okay, there we go. We just needed a new one of those in. There we go, that should work now. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'm ready now. Oh, it's ready looking here. better. It's looking better, but we still shortly. got some. We got we got some strangeries, right? Some strangeries. And the first strangeity is this shouldn't have been allowed to happen here, right? Okay, what have we done wrong? So that is a. That right there is a three, which was placed after a two. And a three should never be allowed after a two. Time for a joke. They're making a movie about crops. We don't even have three it's marked as problematic though. LOL. Okay. I just didn't think about all of this, I guess. I must have, I thought it was less logic than this, but there you go. Okay, so, right, fine. Pick state three. We'll get there, we'll get there. So pick state three. Yeah, but it has two. That's why I'm confused, right? Well, it's because, okay, I, I think I was thinking about this wrong. So pick state three, because it's blocking off the right. It must have. It must have an entry from the left, right? So a pick state three cannot follow a four or a five. So not four and not five. Not four, not five. Okay, there's probably one more we've missed as well, but we'll let it show us. <laughs> I know what will be a good idea. Let's make a mini game. Yay! All right, we're, we're looking now. better all the time, Captain but we Kobe still we still trapped ourselves. We'll right back, so that there'll be one more state here now. That's the problem, and that's this one here, which occurred here and here where a state that's a three again though right we just did three didn't we yeah we did do three so a three is following a two didn't we say not two 
Now we said not four and not five. Yeah, also can't be a two because you can't get into it from a two. Yeah, okay, and not two. Okay, and previous state is not two. <laughs> eee, God. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Are there any tiles that are allowed? Alright, let's go. I'm ready meow. Captain Cody Okay, we still got fucked. And we'll be right back shortly. Okay, so now we've got a state what is that? We've got a state one. Yeah, they're all gonna have some states. They're all gonna have some rules that they're not allowed, they're not allowed to follow. So a state one was preceded by a state four, which can't be allowed. <laughs> At this rate, I should have just said there's probably only one pick state that's like that doesn't matter, and that's like the empty one, I would think. I pr so it would have been easier just to say if pick state is not zero. I think it is, you know. I think we just say if pick state is not zero. I'd like to tell you a fun fact. Right-handed people Here. live on average nine years I longer than left-handed like people. Like if pick state is not zero, okay. And then if pick state is one, is there anything else we can't have as a one? As a one, well, we can Let get into it either here or here, right? So the yeah, the so a one cannot be preceded can by. I suppose you, if you had this, you could probably get in through the bottom, though, couldn't you? The one, yeah. So again, as long as as long as the one to the left has either this one or this one free. So one cannot be preceded by a five or a two. So not five, not two is the one. And I think that's fine. All right, let's go. Whoa, we're getting close now, I can feel it. I'm ready now. <laughs> Captain Copium has to deal with something and we'll be right back shortly. <laughs> ah! Why am I doing this to myself? Isn't that a one? Is there another one that we missed? That is a one. The one was preceded by a four. Did we not rule that out? Ah, and we also can't have a four. Okay. Fucking hell. Alright, well, you know, we'll get there. Eventually we'll have all of the logic correct. Wow, I've just blocked now. me straight in, why don't you? Oh my god! <laughs> Could I be any more blocked in? Straight away we got fucked, wow. This this is like a torture machine, why am I doing this? We got a state 4, which was a problem. Because a state 4 has to have a blank square to the left, right? So do we have state 4 in our list? One, two, Here's we do joke. have a four. What do you call a nervous javelin? Okay. Term? Shakespeare. So which one L -L. is that one? That's a five, right? So four can also not well we've got do, not five. If pick state is four, previous state cannot be a five. But you know what I think it is? I know what it is. It's because previous state wasn't set here. Yeah, here we go. Previous state, oh this is kind of weird actually, because these states have different... 
Okay. I know what to do. What we need to do is we need to put previous state declaration up here. And then here we need to set the previous state to whatever we set it. That's what went wrong there. So previous state here is zero. It's whatever we put in that box, right? So boop, boop, boop. That one is one, that one is three, and that one is five. That's what went wrong there. Is we didn't know what the previous state was because the first square is special, right? We have to set it up we have to set it up differently. So because we didn't have any memory of what the previous state was for the starting tile, we didn't know how to avoid it. Okay, it's getting better. Now. We got fucked Captain here though. Copium has to deal with something and we'll be right back shortly. Which one is it that fucked us? It was this one here. So that one is a state two. And it followed a state two followed a state five. So two cannot follow a five. Again, we've already got that in here though. Previous state should not be preceded by a five I'd like to tell you a joke we already have that Did logic you know the in first here French fries weren't actually cooked in France they were cooked in Greece lol <laughs> yeah what the fuck dude so hang on, that's weird, right? So we got a we got a state two, which was preceded by a state five, which isn't supposed to be allowed to happen. Pick if pick state is two, then previous state should not have been a three, a four, or a five. Oh, you know what's happening? I know what's happening. Okay, I know what's happening. So what's happening is we're setting the previous state to whatever the state, to whatever state was randomly generated whether it was added or not. Now, if it wasn't added, then we shouldn't be recording it as a previous state because otherwise our previous state becomes unreliable, right? Um, so basically this wants to become, this wants to be here and it also wants to be on all of these, but not anywhere else because what's happening is our previous state is getting set as what was randomly generated even if it was skipped by this logic but we only want to update the previous state if it was actually set in stone <laughs> as the actual previous grid in the maze right the previous column in the maze okay jesus christ we'll get there eventually I think we did it. I think now. that is a fully that's Captain the first Copian maze we've had. Something and we'll be right back shortly. <sighs> Holy shit. That is the first maze we've had. That we can actually complete. Good lord. Okay, so now the only thing we need to do is because our cat doesn't get drawn out because we don't re we don't set all the tiles to blank. There's a few ways of fixing this. Probably the easiest way is that algorithm that we already have. For a joke, I visited a weight loss website. 
They told me I have to have cookies disabled. LOL. The algorithm that we already have that we're just using there to draw the tiles is this here, right? So what we should do is grab this loop, all right? And we're actually going to put this inside of update maze because we should be doing that on every on everything anywhere. So if we put that in there now, is this thing's problem now? Well, Columbus County was update mess void. Yes. Wow. <laughs> what is what is happening? Another one of those, is it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's fine. Right. All right, let's make sure that works. So that should let us redraw the maze. And then when we update the maze, the play position goes in as well. Okay, so now when we move, I'm ready, meow. Captain Copium Yay. has to deal with something and we'll be right back shortly. <laughs> I am so happy right now. Here's a joke. It's the most boring Why do game birds fly south for the winter. <laughs> Because it's too far to walk. But now, now it could Hello be kind now. of fun. Like we could put, like, cause we could put collectibles in this, right? Cause like in situations like this, like there's no reward for going down there, obviously. But if there was a cherry or something, I don't know, something to collect to score more points, maybe there'd be an incentive to go there. Right, and we can make it so that if you move right on the next tile, then you go joke. to the next level, a and then it just generates another one for you, right? The, the thing is, I'm not going to do that oh, just yet, though. <laughs> um, right, what's wrong with this at the moment, though? What's wrong with it is there's nothing to stop us just doing this, because the walls don't actually do anything yet, right? Because they don't actually set the tiles to say that you can't move over them. So at the moment you can actually just run straight over, straight over the walls. So we're going to fix that next. Here's a joke. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. LOL. The captain should return shortly. It might be better to do it on the cells. Because the cell, the, the thing is, each cell knows whether it's a wall or not. That's the thing. So it is actually easier just to go into the cell itself essentially and work it out from there
Okay, so how would we do that? Well, the way we do that. Oh no, my fucking keyboard battery's run out. Are you serious? Ah, oh, bollocks, yes, it has. Coding too much. I like that keyboard though. So what I'll do. use my USB extension and just charge it while I use it. There we go. Okay, so if we update the cell, we said if my name, we, we put this logic in here, right? If my, if my name is A or C, then we know we can't up, we can't down, we can't left, we can't write based on those. It's similar to this, right? It's basically, We want to nullify all of these out first, okay? So cell left. Cell right. Cell up. Cell down. Okay, so we'll do up and down first, right? So if, it's probably easier. You know, we've got this string my name thing here. It's probably easier if we get an integer for the column number as well. So we can do that by saying integer my number my column equals my name this is actually a little bit tricky but basically you want a substring starting from position one to my name dot length minus one but we also need to system dot convert to integer 32 on that so we put that in parentheses as well. So now we've got my column number and then int my raw. Equals. Set it to zero for now and then if my name starts with a my raw equals one bc my raw is two my raw is three 
Okay, so now we've got our row and column right as integers, which is so much more helpful. So then we want to say if my row is greater than zero, uh, greater than one rather, because we start counting from one on the rows. So what we'll do, we'll start with up, set ups. If my row is greater than zero, then it will be my row minus one, right? So, oh, it's kind of awkward. Okay, so it's my row minus one. So, this is fucking awkward. Okay, so let's not do it like that then, because rows would be better if we kept them as strings and we extracted the letters right. So really, string my row should just be my name substring. No, hang on, row. Yeah, row is. Row is substring zero to one. Basically. Okay, row is, get rid of that, we don't need that. And then we can say, if my row is not a, then basically um, we want to say transform dot f fuck me okay no we don't do that because it's different for B and C right so just basically if my row is B then transform dot find A plus my column I'm finding a sibling, so it should be transform dot parent dot transform dot find. It should be transform dot parent dot transform dot find a plus my column dot get components may cell. can up now what I was going to do is I was going to set oh fuck yeah that's a few well we only care for a wall don't we really but then we also need to make sure we reset the details on all of these as well Although that happens anyway when we when we change states. <sighs> Let me just think about this. Yeah, because we set can up, can down, can left, can right, all to true until we start entering this logic. So the first if in here wants to be, because we, we only set, we're only setting neighboring limiters essentially if we're a wall. If we're not a wall, then we don't need to set limits on any of our neighboring tiles, right? So basically if cell type is one, is the first thing we want to check. If we're cell type one, then we want to start doing this shit. If we're not a cell type one, then we don't do this shit at all. So now we want to change our B to an A, have the same thingy, then say can up, no can down. <laughs> this is really, 
<laughs> Holy shit, this is so confusing. Kandar equals false. Because what we're doing is we're saying, okay, what we're essentially doing is saying, okay, this is us here. We want to get this cell here and tell this cell you cannot move down because I am a wall and I'm below you, right? That's what this is. It's a bit confusing though because you've got to go up to tell it it can't go down, but that's how it has to work, right? So essentially it's the same with C. If we are a C and we're a wall, then we want to go to B and tell B that you cannot move down onto me. Okay, so that is set set up. We'll do set down. So for set down, it's similar, except we only care if we are raw A or B. If we're raw A, we go to B. If we're raw B, we go to C. And we tell it it can up false. Right? Okay, that's that's down. Then on right, we'll do left first. Set left. Okay, left is a bit different. So for left, okay, this is really weird. The first thing we need to make sure is that our column number is to get the, to get the square to the left of us. We need to make sure our column number is greater than one. So my column must be greater than one because there is no column zero in this. And we don't want to get a null reference. So we must make sure that my column is greater than one for a square to be next to me to up to the left. If, if my column is greater than one, I want to stay on the same row as me. So we want, here we want my row. And here we want my row. And here we want, my column is an integer, yeah? Yes. So it's my column plus one. Wait, no it's not, it's my column minus one. Which is why we said we must be greater than one. Okay. And then we want to say, because we're setting to the left of us, we want to say can write is false. Can write is false. It's basically the opposite for set right. So our column must be less than 30. And then we want to do my column plus one. And we want to set can left to false. All right, that should basically be it if we're a wall. If we're a wall, we set our neighbors up and tell them you cannot move on to me from whatever direction you would be moving on to me. All right, let's make sure that works. Okay, we got I'm a lot of null references, Captain which is not Tokyo a good sign. Has to deal with something, and we'll be right back shortly. So we can't f we can't transform from our parent to find a plus my column. for a fun fact octopuses only touch in situations of mating or aggression female octopuses sometimes do both strangling and eating the male after mating
Yeah, I know why. I know why. I know why. Here's why. Leading zeros. So it actually needs to be... Okay. <laughs> it needs to be two string D2. And then that needs to be closed off. That's why. Two string D2. 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 Which just basically means to two digits, basically. To two digits. So if it's less than 10, it'll add a zero. Is all that means. Okay. I'm ready now. Let's test that. We Captain didn't get any errors. Kodian That's a good sign. Oh, hang on. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that's weird. It placed us. Okay, we need to fix that. Yeah, well, that's that's a problem for a start, isn't it? First of all, we can move over the wall, but like, secondly, like it actually placed us on top of a wall tile, which is strange, and we're still able to walk all the way through everything, which is also strange. I think I know why though. I think what's happened is oh no, because it should it should have updated on a state change though, shouldn't it? It's time for a joke. What okay, the good the good news the is the this one's working, I can't they go work. left right now. But also, I was on top of a brick wall, which is... And I can go left through there, so weird. Okay, well, I've obviously done something wrong. I'm able to go over that wall as well. Okay, what have I done wrong? I mean, wait, I think, oh, wait, I think I know what might be going wrong. Okay, I think I might know what's going wrong. As we trigger, okay, so as we're drawing the maze, right? As we're drawing the maze, we are triggering a state change on each tile. So what's happening is this tile will go ahead and set its neighbors and tell it, hey, I'm a wall, you can't land on me. The problem is, what I think is happening is we go to this tile, this tile, this tile, this tile, and we go through like this. And each time we trigger a state change, if we told a wall to set this tile and say, hey, you can't move left onto me. The problem is on the next frame, we go to this wall and we say, by the way, you're a path. So when it learns it's a path, it's like, oh, hey, I'm a path. I can go wherever I want. And it's overriding what the previous wall next to it told it about itself because it just learned that it's a path. Uh, <laughs> oh, 
that's I think that's what's happening. So how can I stop it from doing that? think what I'll do is I will just not reset those except on a disable or even on an on enable would be fine actually yeah on an on an enable will be fine actually we don't even need it on disable Also, we didn't use these. We did a we did a transform find instead. Yeah, we didn't even need these actually. All right, let's try that. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right yes. back. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Can't go left. Can't go left. Can't go right. Can't go right. Up. Right, 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 right. Let's make sure we can't go up on the that one. Or down on that one. Yeah, no, it's working perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Yeah, absolutely perfectly. It's joke time. Geology rocks, <laughs> but geography is where it's at. <laughs> it works perfectly. LOL. That was quite a nice maze as well, actually. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that maze. That was very nice. Very nice. You want you really want to play it sometimes. you a joke. I knew I shouldn't steal a mixer from work, but it was a whisk I was willing to take. LOL. Okay, that is working perfectly. So what I want to do now is when you reach the end, so there's a couple of things I want to do. First thing I want to do is implement a score. I want a nice pixely. Do I have a pixely font? Well, we can worry about fonts later, right?
because I want it kind of pixely because I want it to look like a bit retro. Scale it right up like that. Okay. I'll give it a little black outline. Beautiful. I'll call it TXT score. I do also want to give it like a little background. Let's get something really gritty. Pixel art background. Let's see what we got. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Let's see what that looks like. Is it that one? That one I was thinking. I was actually thinking just like a kind of gritty, stony sort of look, but hmm, I don't know. Actually, that one's nice and wide, actually, which is kind of what we want. Access that image. Are you? Oh, it says there PNG city far, city close, city far. I guess. Okay, open that one. Okay, it did. Uh, that was kind of weird. City mid, city close, city reflection. So it's put them as separate files, though, isn't it? So this is parallax scrolling, that's why. Have they not put one? I guess I would have to put them all together, I think. Ah, this isn't at all what I thought it was. All I'm really looking for is something kind of gray and blocky looking that like just gives me a bit of a a retro video game look. Like I know what I want in my head, but it's kind of hard to describe.
Um, I mean, it's twi this one looks kind of Twitch-like, which is kind of cool, which might make it look good for Twitch, I guess. If we just save that. It is a JPEG as well. That'll do. Let's see what that looks like. Sure, in my Unity projects, CapGB2, Assets, UI, and this one is Sky Back Picks. Let's try that. Sky Back Picks. And go back to this and then pick Sky Back. Picks. Oh, actually, that looks pretty good. I'll probably go a bit darker though. Like, I want it nice and dark, right? There we go. Okay, I like that. So we'll do it private int of player score equals zero. We'll do one score for a successful move right. And an update may as well say. Oh, we don't have a reference to it yet. I had a string for this, didn't I? Twitch player, there we go. Twitch player name in there. Plus a space. Plus a score. Do two spaces. And play a score. Why? Oh, it's because dot text. That's why. All right. So we get one successful point for each score. So let's see how that goes. And then we need to also, yeah, I should probably put stage one as well, like stage. That's a good point actually. Okay, so in our logic, we want to say 
If moving right, increment the score. Put in here if. Okay, and here actually, it would be. If current column is 30, current column equals one stage up. Current score, or player score equals player score plus 50 for a successful stage, let's say. Score 50 and move on one stage. Current column equals one, and then we want to generate a new maze. All right, let's test that. I should probably also put in here I'm ready meow. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. I forgot, as always, to link the text. There we go. Meow. <laughs> I'm ready meow. Captain Copium has uh, to deal okay, with yeah, something one little and will be right issue, back shortly. Little issue. We forgot that. We need to stretch that out much, much wider. The text, so we can read it. Ah, oh, why, why are you doing this to me? Why do you hate me so? There we go. Let's just do that now, because pain in the ass otherwise. There. I'm ready, meow. Uh, I'm not sure about the purple though, because something. the problem we'll is the right background's back kind of purple, so I don't know whether that's going to look weird in OBS, OBS if it's going to show the screen underneath. Probably won't, um, but it could. It's time for a joke. Okay, so if we I go to our mini game and make sure it's all working. I should have cooked so, it on a low clear, we don't have a player name right now because. Well, let's say this was Captain Corpium. We'll set that here. And then as we go. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. We should be seeing this score going up. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Up. 
Probably because, yeah, technically speaking, actually, I just realized something. I don't know why. Because we the next tile can't be can right because there is no next tile, right? So in our in our logic, when we say we won and we ascend the stage, also I think I want to say. Okay, so basically, when I say... <sighs> we do if get sell can rise. But this should say, this should be a separate if basically. It shouldn't be part of that. Also, you know what else, really? It's not very efficient right now, just because we don't need to generate the maze unless, oh. We don't, we don't need to upmate, update the maze unless, fuck. Unless a successful move has actually occurred. So at the moment we're like, ah, oh, update the maze regardless, but we don't actually want to do that unless we successfully moved in a specific direction. So I just put those on the ends of there. Not that it really matters, but eh, it is pointless updating the maze if nothing actually happened, right? All right, let's try that. <laughs> I'm ready meow. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. I didn't want it to do it there though. I wanted an I wanted an additional right to found that wax worms are capable of be sent and breaking down plastic bags. Before I loaded them next level. Like, I, felt, I kind of felt like that loaded them next level. To safely level. dispose of plastic bags and bottles. Yeah, okay, it's because that wants to be above there, that's why because otherwise we increment current column here and then by the time we go there it is the current column but yeah it is working basically okay so let's just do I'm so pleased with this I haven't done the chat commands yet but like that should that's the easy part I 
I don't know how fun this would be to actually play though with a Twitch delayed Twitch chat. I'm ready, but meow. It could Captain be fun. Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. Again, that's it. Stage two. Yay, and this will basically just go on forever. Oh no! It broke! Why did it break? What the hell? I wonder if I didn't reset the um because he felt crummy. But I didn't reset the something didn't get reset. Let's have a look. What didn't get reset? On generate maze. Current column is pick. Current row is pick start. Current column equals one. Columns clear. I don't know actually. Oh, why didn't that work a second time? What what gets done at the start that doesn't get done? Current column equals one. We did that, didn't we? Yeah, current column equals one. So we don't actually need to say current column equals one on an airball. I wonder if I wonder if the wall states didn't actually change back they should do though because when they get set to paths they should all go okay let me just try that again I need to figure out what's wrong huh let me check something didn't reset so it does it fine for the first level but the second level something is not getting reset that's cool though. I like that. Yeah. I'm ready now. And what I might do is ah, uh, it's doing that though. That's that's kind of right naughty. So it's placing how is it doing that? It's placing Okay, what just happened? It just picked It picked a state four in the first column, even though the player started on the bottom tile which should never happen how did that happen if if start is position three I feel the need to tell a joke what did the fish say when it swam into a wall damn lol it should be picking between it's picking state zero one three and five Fun fact for you. Giraffes often sleep for only 20 minutes Pick. in any place. So the starting hours. position is between. They may sleep up to two hours in spurts. It can't be zero though. I don't know why we say if pick first rare. equals equals they zero. They never lie down. There is no zero. Oh no. Okay. No. Pick start, not pick first. So pick first, we choose between 0, 1, 3, and 5. Well that's, first of all, it didn't work then, did it? Because it picked, f oh yeah, 5 is five is, five is actually a, an eligible one. But yeah, it's because... Have we you didn't heard this joke? tell dot, it, dot, dot. okay, yeah, we didn't tell it how. Did we didn't tell it to avoid... Kind of annoying. These can conflict with each other.
Okay, this is kind of annoying, but we, we have no choice. We need to do a separate one for each one. If pick start is position one, it's a different algorithm. It's a different selection. If pick start is two, it's a different selection. And if pick start is three, it's a different selection. Got no choice but to do it this way. Okay, so these are all of the possibilities. And now it's just a matter of removing the ones that we can't have for those specific pick starts. Right? So if it picked the starting position as one, we can, that means we start there. We can have, we can only have three and four, basically. We can only have three and four. Wait, three and four? Yeah. We don't even have four in here. <laughs> Right, so we can with that means we get a, we pick between number zero and one, and they should be three and four. Okay, if pick start is two, meaning we start here, we can only have. One, one, three, four or five. Oh yeah, we can always have, shit, we can always have zero as well, can't we? Zero means no tiles at all. Yeah, we can always have zero. So actually that can be three. We should make zero. Zero, one, one, and two, and that should be zero, and that should be zero. Yeah, we can always have zero. So we could have zero, what did I say? Zero, one, three, and five. Yeah, zero, one, three, and five is fine. Zero, one, three, and five. That's what position two is. Right, position three, however, we can only have zero, one, and two. Zero, one, and two, we can have three. There we go. That should be it. Yeah, that should stop that from happening. Okay. Ready meow. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. So far, so good. It moves the first. Oh, it's moving now. Maybe I fixed it. I uh, have it a won't go down. Okay, Never let's find out why it won't go down. Electrons. So we're They're in always negative. L -O -L. B3. So we're in B3, and we're trying to move down to C3. I bet C3 says, like, it can't move. Yeah, it's saying. Oh no, because we're not on. No, we want to be checking B3 because we're on B3, right? So B3 is probably got. Yeah, B3 says you can only go left from B3. So these states aren't updating. Hmm, okay. 
weird because I thought the cell when it was set to a path went and set oh because I said on yeah I said on enable because I was you know why because I was planning on disabling re-enabling re it I could do that I guess that might be easier actually That would be easier actually. And then we'll just set them to true. Should do it. Okay, that should reset them. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. I'd like to tell you a fun fact. One of the smartest bird species is the magpie. They can even recognize themselves in mirrors. Oh, it moved one. Oh, no. Okay, it moved. Why did it move one? Okay, I know why, I know why. Because we didn't reset. Yeah, okay, I know why. Because on, on gener on update maze, we don't set the move. Well, it's only happening on the completion of the right So, okay, I just need to analyze the decoration? On the maze game, when we increment the stage, so stage plus plus, I also need to say move right equals false to reset that. There we go. Now it should be perfect. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's funny. I actually think it's pretty cool. <laughs> is it worth the hours I've put into it? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But I don't know. Some I'm people just sit there and watch Lord Captain of the Rings has to deal with something and will be right back over and over and over again. Yeah, which I probably should have done, to be honest. It would have been so much more enjoyable. But look, I can show people this and say, look what I did. And they'll be like, yeah, that's great. Well done. And that's what I'll say. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Oh, why is it? No, it's almost perfect. It's moving. Don't we, up, on update maze, don't we reset those anywhere? I feel the need to yeah, tell we a do. Joke. Up, move down, a book just false, fell on left, my head. right. Oh. I only have my shelf to blame. So how is it? L -O -L. On the second maze generation, oh, I wonder if it's because... 
must be something like... Because we set the current column to 1. Oh, I don't know. Also, it placed me on a. Don't worry. I'm it sure placed Captain me on a wall tile as well. Ooh. And I'm able, wait, I'm able to walk through the wall tiles. It's joke time. Ah! Wait, don't tell me the whole time the I could week. walk through the wall tiles now. Saturday and Sunday. LOL. No, what is happening? My beautiful game. Let me figure out if I can now walk over wall tiles completely, or if it's just an issue with the second stage. Okay, the good news is it's just. Although that should be that should be resetting itself. Though why is that not resetting itself? What the fuck is happening? Oh, put me in a fucking wall tile again. Oh my god, I'm starting to get annoyed. I don't understand, I covered all the bases. I can walk all over the fucking tiles now as well. So why did that, I don't understand though. Oh, cause every, don't we, every time we update the maze, we reset, we're doing that active, false, active, true. Okay, yeah, so I can't do that then. Okay, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's probably what's causing the other glitches as well that we already fixed the problems for. Okay, so instead I need to have a reset mechanism in here. Uh, I mean, I could just... I mean, it's fine if I do that once before on each tile before I generate the maze, basically. Or as I'm generating the maze. Can we do it on generate the maze? We don't really iterate through the things like that though, do we? No, because on generate the maze we just write the we could though, we could do that. We could just say for each transform. child in grid child grid dot transform child dot game object set active to false and then child game object set active to true just to reset them all force reset all the cells on generate maze. There we go. That should fix it, right? That should fix it. Surely. That's got to fix it, right? Please. Pretty please. Okay. I'm ready, meow. Okay, Captain good news is it wasn't on. Yeah, we and will be can't right go back down. Shortly. Yeah, but the thing is, right, that down is not resetting. That down should be flicking itself off. Why is that not flicking itself off? Okay, I just need to fix that. It just means that if... It's cause oh, cause I said I know why. Okay, I know why. Cause remember when I said oh, we shouldn't we shouldn't be updating the maze if we don't need to. Well, when I was updating the maze, even though we didn't need to, I was resetting those triggers, right? 
but now now that I'm not doing that I need to like manually reset the triggers so it just means I need to say make sure that move up is false we reset them all here move down is false move left is false move right is false so I probably, I probably would have been better off just leaving it where it was to be honest it's one of those classic if it ain't broke don't fix it things but I'm like mm, it would be better to do it this way not realizing that that was actually helping something else but yeah I'm right it's not efficient to redraw the maze every single time if we don't need to I'm ready meow Captain Copium really has to deal with difference. something and we'll be right back shortly it is wasteful yay we can't go up yeah it's working great we just need to make sure on the second level it still works great because that was what I was having issues with Time for a fun fact. A crocodile cannot stick its tongue out. Oh, you fucking twat! Why? Why is it doing that? Why is it moving me? I don't understand why it's moving me one space too far. Also, it's still fucking the tiles up. But we... We... Okay, when I go... When I go back, it actually works. Have you heard this joke? Dot dot dot. Okay, it's almost like it was wrong about where it was on. then. He let out a little wine. L -O -L. At the start of stage two. It's almost like it was confused about where the cat actually was. Until it fixed it or whatever. Yeah, it's actually working once I've moved around a bit. It's like fixing itself essentially. Let so some some numbers misaligned probably. In York, is what that it is. is perfectly legal to shoot a Scotsman with a bow and And that's arrow, probably why the cats... Oh no, we're actually able to walk over that though. But then we can't go left over it. So what the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Can we go right over it now? No, now we can't. Okay, so it's like... What's happening? It's I like... I have a fun fact for you. A blue whale's heart only beats nine times per minute. I'll do my best to keep things lively whilst Captain Copium is away. Fuck, I don't know. It's like the first time you walk, it lets you walk over a wall f once, and then when you try and go back, once you've walked over the wall once, like, and you try and walk over it again, it's fixed itself. That's fucking weird, though. Fun fact time. A jiffy is the scientific name for one one hundredth of a second. Okay, to help debug this. See if these add up. I feel like these might not be adding up or something. I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell is going wrong. I don't get it. Why why is it moving one space? It's moving past the first space automatically when it loads a new level. That's weird. And then it's letting me walk over a wall once. And then when I try and walk over it again, it's corrected itself. That's even weirder. Yeah. 
I'm ready right, now. that must be the Captain only free Copia tile because it wouldn't deal with something no, like we'll there is right no state shortly. with three walls in a column. Um, well, it seems fine the first time around, right? So we're in column one, row one. Right, so it should be one one when it starts. Right, so it's yeah, it's column two, row two. So something is making it go to one Have row you heard this ahead. Dot, dot, dot. It's hard to explain. Now let's check. To so okay, um, well, first of all, let's try and fix that. Then. What the fuck is it doing? L O L. Interestingly though, it won't go there, so it knows not to go there. Why is that happening? Because we reset the command to go right. We generate the maze. Maybe just, what happens if we just take that out? Out of curiosity. This is so strange. And we don't need to say move right equals false anymore because it'll do it when it comes out of here. Really. Well, we'll do it anyway because it's better safe than sorry. At least that rules out that being the, the reason why it's doing it. I don't know why it's doing it though. That's the weird thing. Why is it doing it? I don't fucking know. It's really annoying. I'm this ready is a nice now. One. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. Ah! Why the fuck is it making its first move when it loads a new level? I don't understand. We've got 30 columns, which is correct. So we got, it's not like we're accidentally forgetting to clear that out. The grid always stays the same, but the cells should get changed. So like, B1 should be move up false. Let me share this fun fact with you. Zero Which is correct. Of all so it should be move down. Yeah, can left should also be false on B1. Why is can left? So that's not entirely right, is it? B1 should be can should always be can left false. Because it's a number one. So that would suggest. into a bar with some asphalt on his arm. He said, two beers please, one for me and one for the road. LOL. The captain should return shortly. Like these first ones here, right? Can left is false. That means this code's not running. Like update cell's not running. Right, okay, I know what it is. Okay, I know what it is. That's why. 
We should force an update on a re-enable so that it does. Act. There you go. That's that's what it is. Hundred percent. Don't know if that's the reason why it's taking its first move though. It shouldn't be making its first move. That's kind of strange. That's still kind of strange to me. But that would be why that would be why it's not clear about what is and isn't traversable at any given moment. Okay. I'm ready, meow. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. Yay! I think I've done it. Oh fuck, it won't go down now. What? Ah! <laughs> what is going on? So, cats in A1. Which says it can only go I'd right? Like oh my god, are you fucking you kidding me? Unless the only the only reason I will forgive this now is if I go right and there's a brick wall there. Even that one really makes sense. But we are disabling and re-enabling all the cells, aren't we? So on enable, we should be updating the cell. And we set all these to true anyway, but then we need to apply that logic. A bladder infection, you're in trouble. LOL. The captain is taking longer than expected. Try resetting the cell type back to zero as well. I don't know if that has anything to do with that. Maybe because if I think about it, the only time we update, yeah, we only really tell neighboring cells about walls. We don't really ever. Change them back to state zero. I'm ready, meow. Well. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, what a straight line run that is. <laughs> Okay, can't go right, good, up, let's try going up and right just to make sure, yep, yeah, good, good. Time for a joke. Oh my god, I think I got we got fired it. From a florist. Oh my god, Apparently I think it's working. I took too many leaves. Wow, just resetting it back as a state zero cell did the trick. Resetting, yeah, the must, okay, so we must have only been dealing with the wall logic, which probably makes sense. Wow, that's almost two straight runs there. For a joke. Okay, yeah, I did it. What has that's one that's head, it, I did it. It's perfect. And four legs. All right, now I just need to put the... Get the debug text out. That's what it was. We need to reset it back to cell state zero. So we can take that out. I mean, just in case I have more trouble, I'll just mute that for now. Take that out and put the score and stuff back in. There it is. All right, and then I think I will leave it there for the night I do need to like pair up the chat commands with it and stuff but for now I'm gonna leave it there because it's taking long enough to get it but yeah the thing works I think that should in theory work infinitely so it just should just keep racking up scores and regenerating mazes and I'm ready now forever. Captain Copium has to deal with something and will be right back shortly. <laughs> I'll be honest though, 
Like, I can't imagine anything more fucking tedious <laughs> than typing up, down, left, right commands into a Twitch chat to move a fucking cat along. But I don't know. I mean, while I'm away, someone might want to do that. Oh, look at that. Almost a straight run again. Again, who in, who in their right mind would want to play this? I'm not quite sure. We could make it more interesting by like putting collectibles in here or something, but I don't know. <sighs> to be fair, this was bad enough to code, so I don't know it's if I will do that right now. Why did the Maybe I will do it. Well, weapon. again, no one's probably nobody's ever gonna load. fucking play this. To be completely honest. <laughs> so like, like yeah, okay, maybe maybe if some future viewer is like fucking obsessed with this and they're like, oh my god, that's so good. I love playing your Captain little Copia cat game. Had whenever to deal you go with for a piss, and we'll be right back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> In which case I'll say, holy shit dude, you need to touch a fucking grass. <laughs> you really need to get out. Oh no, it put it put the cat on a wall tile. Ah. Other than that though, it seems fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so it's still, okay, it's still for some reason putting, I need to just check those rules then. I'd like to tell you a fun fact. Earth you can still play it when that, when it does that. It doesn't break the game or anything, but obviously it shouldn't put the cat on a wall tile because the cat's not supposed to be able to go there. Yeah, this literally will go forever. Nice stage seven. Oh my god, I went through seven stages of that. <laughs> I went through seven stage. I've reached stage seven. Holy shit. Like, I do think something like this would be really cool in, in the future, if you could like pair like a, some kind of internet time. control, if there was like an internet so controller of sorts, and you could be like, okay, yeah, D. pair pair my Twitch controller to Captain Corpium, and then you can like play games. Even then though, I do wonder about like the stream's lag, how the captain should return shortly. frustrating this would probably be. <laughs> Stage 9. It's cool though. It is quite cool. It's pretty cool. Let me share this joke with you. Why right, I'm gonna leave it there. So I did it. I finally did it. Now I just all I literally need to do now is put a message on the screen to say, you know, send us, send the play command or start command or something if you want to play a little mini game. And then whoever does that gets one of these windows on the screen so they can play. There'll be a maximum of like three players, I would think. Like how many of these can we realistically get on screen? Like I said, probably about three, right? So I could do like... Yeah, 
you know, I just do something like that. And have like up to three players that can play this. <laughs> In Twitch. So I could just do that. Which again I think is I think it's pretty cool. Something I just wanted to do, like sometimes there are things I want to do, do just for the sake of like being able to show that I can do it or whatever, just just to actually have the experience in doing it. Like I'm not disillusioned that like anyone's actually going to give a shit about this. Like I know that they probably won't, and I would frankly be worried about them if they, you know, if they did really care about something like this. Yeah, I can put one there. What I might do is just set these up now. So I can have player one, player two, player three. sort of thing player one player two player three And then we'll put them all part of the mini game manager. Make like a mini game manager for them. And then we stick here we put stick the script that's basically gonna assign it's gonna be listening for chat commands and we'll spawn up we'll activate up to three of these. Depending on anyone who may or may not want to play. Time to make it yet? No, there we go. And this can also have like a little prompt that says, you know, hey, if you want to play, send the command now. There we go, mini game manager script. We'll put it in there. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching. Bye.